Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to execute Maven builds in Jenkins and we will see how to download the Maven dependencies from Nexus or Artifactory and also we will see how to upload the Maven produced artifacts to Nexus or Artifactory via Jenkins jobs. In the diagram, we can see Jenkins, GitHub, Nexus or Artifactory. The Jenkins part will contain the master and agent. Maven will be installed in Jenkins master as well as Jenkins agent. The application source code will be present in the GitHub. The Jenkins job is to check out this source code to one of the agents. In the agent, we will execute the Maven build. As part of the build, it will compile the code and it will package the code. During compilation, the corresponding dependencies will be downloaded from Nexus or Artifactory. Once the packaging is completed as part of Maven build, that package needs to be uploaded to Nexus or Artifactory. We already have seen how to download and upload packages from Nexus and Artifactory for Maven builds in the previous videos. Please go through the videos in the description section because we will use the similar settings.xml for download and upload the packages from Nexus or Artifactory. As part of this, we need to perform these tasks. We need to check out the code from GitHub to one of the agents and then we will prepare the settings.xml for Maven build. The settings.xml should include the section to download the dependencies and also for uploading the Maven artifacts to Nexus or Artifactory. So once the settings.xml is prepared, then we will execute Maven commands inside our Jenkins job. Let us start. For this demo, we will use Nexus as the repository manager. However, the same process can be applied for Artifactory as well. The only change would be the change of repository URLs in settings.xml and mavenform.xml. Here we need to start with the checkout stage. The source code of the application will be present in the GitHub. So for this checkout operation, the Jenkins needs to be integrated with GitHub. So we need to create credentials in the GitHub and we need to use those credentials in our Jenkins job. So this is the sample Maven application which is forked from the official Jenkins documents. We will use this application for our demo. So here we can see there is a source folder and this contains the Java code. We have code under main java as well as test java. Here we have the pom.xml. This is our build file which will be used in the Jenkins job. So let us create a credential now for accessing this repository from Jenkins job. For that we need to click on our user. Go to settings. Under settings we need to click on developer settings. So here we need to check our personal access tokens. Here I will create a new token. I already have one demo token. Let me create a new token here. So I will keep the default expiration as 30 days. The repository access will be all repositories. And we can provide the repository permission for this user. So we will choose the content section. Under this, I am providing read and write access. And generate the token. A new token is generated. Let me copy the code. So we need to store this token as a credential inside Jenkins. Now let us create a credential in Jenkins corresponding to the GitHub credentials. So for this we need to click on manage Jenkins. Click on credentials. Here we need to choose the global domain and click on add credentials. The type should be username with password. Scope is global. Here we need to mention the GitHub username. And the password is personal access token. We need to provide ID and description for this credential. You can provide any ID. After providing ID and description, let us create the credential. Now the credential is ready. This is our Nexus repository manager. Here I have logged in with admin user. By default we have these Maven repositories. So Maven central is a proxy repository. Maven snapshots and Maven releases are hosted repositories. Maven public is a group repository which combines this proxy as well as hosted repositories. We can use these repositories or we can create separate repositories for different applications. Let us create separate repositories for our application. So first we will create proxy repository, then hosted, then a group repository. So I have provided the name for this repository. So the type is release because this stores all the released artifacts from the remote repository. So for the location of remote repository, I have copied this URL of Maven central repository. We can keep all other options as default and create this repository. So now let us create a hosted repository for storing our snapshots. Here we need to select Maven hosted. Here we will specify to store snapshots. And we will use the default storage for this. So here we will use the default option. Disable redeploy. 
which will not allow to redeploy the same artifact with the same version and click on create repository. Similarly, let us create a group repository which combines both the hosted as well as proxy repositories. So the type will be mixed. Here we need to select both the proxy as well as hosted repositories and create the repository. So now we have created the three repositories. We will use the group repository for downloading the dependencies from external repositories as well as our hosted repository. And we will use the hosted repository for storing the internal artifacts. Now let us create the repositories in Nexus. As part of the build, Maven needs to download the dependencies from Nexus or Artifactory and also upload the artifacts produced by the build to Nexus or Artifactory. For that, Maven needs to have the permissions to read from the repositories and also to write on the repositories which we created. That means the user needs to have the read permissions on the group repository and the write permissions on the hosted repository. Let us create the user and provide the permissions in Nexus. So for permissions, we need to create a role in Nexus that should have the required permissions and that role needs to be assigned to the user. So let us click on roles here. Let me create a new role. This is a Nexus role. We need to provide the role ID and role name here. We can provide the description as well. Here we need to select the correct privileges for this role. Let us search with myorg. Here we can see the permissions related to our myorg repository. So here we need to select the view permissions related to our maven repositories. We can select this browse permission for the group repository. And also we can provide this read permission on the group repository. And we need to provide this edit permission on the Hosted repository. These permissions are enough. Let us save it. So now we have created a new role. Let us create a new user and assign this role to that user. Provide all the required details here. Here we need to provide the password for this user. Let us select the status also and this should be active. So for this user, we need to select the role which we created now. So now the user is created and this has the permissions for the read and write on the repositories which we created. Till now we have created the personal access token for GitHub and we have created corresponding credentials in Jenkins. Similarly for Maven to interact with Nexus, we need to prepare the settings.xml. This settings.xml will contain the information about the repositories and also the credentials for uploading the artifacts to Nexus. We have already seen how to prepare settings.xml for Nexus as well as Artifactory. In the previous videos, please go through the videos in the description section on how to prepare the settings.xml for uploading and downloading artifacts from or to Nexus or Artifactory. So once the settings.xml is prepared, then we need to store that inside Jenkins as a credential. That credential will be used when we execute Maven commands inside Jenkins. So for this demo application, I have already prepared the settings.xml. So for downloading the artifacts, we need to download the artifacts from the group repository of Nexus. So for that we need to mention the repositories corresponding to group repository. Here I have prepared two repositories. One repository for downloading the dependency and another repository for downloading the plugins. Both these repositories are placed in a profile and that profile we are activating here. So here the URL corresponding to the group repository. So once we specify these repositories for downloading, we need to define a mirror here such that all the requests should go to the group repository instead of external repository. So this is for downloading. And for uploading the artifacts to Nexus or Artifactory, we need to mention the server section. Here the server means the, our Nexus server with the ID and the username and password I have mentioned as we created earlier. So let us save this settings.xml inside Jenkins as a credential. For this click on manage Jenkins, click on credentials, click on global domain. Let us create a new credential. Here the settings.xml will be stored as a secret file. So we need to choose the file here. So I have saved this as a separate file. So let us specify that location here. So let us select this settings.xml. We need to provide the ID and description for this credential. So let us create this credential. So now we have created a new credential which contains the settings.xml file and we will use this credential in our Jenkins job so that the Maven builds can download as well as upload from or to Nexus or Artifactory. In addition to the settings.xml, we also need to add the distribution management section inside the pom.xml of the application. This will ensure whatever artifacts we produce, those will be stored in the 
nexus or artifact to repository here in case of nexus the artifacts will be stored in the maven hosted repository and we have stored the credentials corresponding to this id inside our settings.xml let us save this inside our pom.xml of the application here i am directly changing in the ui let me edit this file now let us save the file so now the changes are done in the pom.xml as well for executing the job we need a jenkins agent or slave i have already set up a jenkins agent for running the maven builds we can verify that we need to click on manage jenkins under notes this agent is set up the agent is not in online let me execute these commands from the agent machine this is a linux agent machine let us execute the commands there let us run this command in background with no hub let us verify the file so now the agent is connected so we have the agent with the label agent linux so this agent we will use for running maven commands in the agent machine we also need to check whether jdk and maven are installed let us verify the same this is the version of jdk which is 11 so this is the apache maven software so this path we will use for maven home let us configure these tool settings inside jenkins we need to click on manage jenkins again under this click on tools here for jdk installation we need to add the jdk i am providing open jdk 11 and we need to check the java home so this is the java home similarly we can add maven also we need to click on add maven so i am providing maven 3 we do not need to install automatically because the software is already installed there so let us copy the maven home we are saying the directory is not present in the jenkins controller but it is present in the agent so that's ok let us apply and save we have configured the tool section also inside the jenkins till now we have integrated jenkins with github and also the maven is integrated with nexus or artifactory by preparing corresponding settings.xml we also have changed maven application form.xml to upload artifacts in nexus and we have prepared the jenkins agent configuration there we have installed maven as well now let us create a new freestyle job and execute maven commands there click on new item provide the name for the job select freestyle job click ok here we have different sections we can write some description here here we need to select the agent in which we run the job so this is our label the next section is source code management this is where we need to configure to check out the code from git so we need to paste the url of our github repository we need to select the credentials of github this is what we have prepared recently here we need to select the branch of github here the branch name is master so we can keep the same here we are not choosing any build triggers and in the build environment section we need to choose the settings.xml as a secret file so for that we need to choose this option so here we need to select the secret file if we click on help here so we have the credential binding plugin so this plugin must be installed to use this feature i have already installed this plugin that's why this option appeared here so we need to define some variable for the maven settings so let us define settings and this settings variable will be used in the maven commands here in the credentials we need to select the credentials corresponding to maven settings so this is what we have prepared earlier so now in the build steps so here for maven build i am selecting invoke top level maven targets here we need to choose the version of maven as per the tools configuration we have configured earlier here i am selecting maven 3 here we need to specify all the goals of maven as part of maven build we are trying to get all the required dependencies as well as and upload the artifacts in nexus so for that we need to provide deploy goal in addition to the goals we also need to specify the settings.xml for that i am using s option now we can use the variable settings and also we can give if a new option here which updates the local repository cache so these are the sufficient things so let us apply and save this configuration let us start the build now so the build is failed let us see why it is failed so the checkout is happening successfully but it is saying the java environment variable is not defined correctly 
I think uh, we have provided a wrong Java home variable. So let us verify that. Okay, here uh, we have provided user bin. This should be user because we need to provide the path where the bin directory exists. Let us save this configuration. Let us rebuild the application. Now we can see that the build is happening. So our requirement was to download the dependencies from our Nexus repository. So this is the repository from which it is downloading the required plugins. As part of the build, it downloads corresponding dependencies also from the same repository. Here it is using the Maven group repository. So the downloads and all happened successfully. During executing deploy goal, it has tried to upload the jar file to Nexus, but it has failed. So it has given 403 error here. When we get this error, there may be an issue with credentials or there may be an issue with the permissions of Nexus repository. So let us check that. So the username and password is correct, which we specified for the settings.xml. So let us verify the permissions of Nexus role. Here we are using this role. Here we have selected the group repository browse permission, read permission, and hosted repository edit permission. Here we missed the read permission of the hosted repository. We also need the read permission in addition to the edit permission of hosted repository. So I am selecting the read permission here for the hosted repository. Now save the configuration. Let us rebuild the application. So this time we did not get any issue with the permissions. So our 403 issue is solved as well. So this is how we can set up a freestyle job in Jenkins to execute Maven builds. So in this demo we have seen how to integrate GitHub with Jenkins and also how to integrate the Nexus with Maven and execute the builds from Jenkins using freestyle jobs. I hope this video helps. Thanks a lot for watching.